Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albano Rhino Beer Review. Today, we're looking at an out-of-this-world craft beer. Doo -doo -doo. It's from a brewery formerly known as Fuggles and Warlock, now just Fuggles. It is Super Power Palm Sour. It's a pink guava and pomegranate sour. I don't... <laughs> I, I, I got really ready, and then I didn't get ready. Uh, we're looking at... That was my chair. I'm really worried because this chair was from Amazon. It was some from some random company in Amazon. And I know most chairs are built in China anyway, so I shouldn't be worried. But it was a random Chinese named company that was sold by Amazon. Not fulfilled or <laughs> sold by Amazon. And it was cheap as fuck. And I'm now seeing pictures of the guy who had the uh, had the cylinder go into his anus. And I saw pictures of the chair and of the blood. And I'm worried. I'm worried that that was a true picture and that it was this chair. That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about that. Uh, what are we looking at here? 7%. 7%. 7 IBU. Uh, 473 milliliters. 5.5% alcohol by volume. We have water, barley, malt, wheat, hops, yeast, pomegranate extract pink guava extract and lactobacillus okay you guys have now made me very sad you've made me very sad because you have made some amazing beers that you did not make with extracts i can technically understand the pomegranate extract to get enough pomegranate juice to make this would take so much it's not funny i get it I mean, everybody looks at a pomegranate, and, and if you haven't ate a pomegranate before, you're like, oh, it must have so much stuff in it. A pomegranate, probably three quarters of the pomegranate, you can you don't ingest. Because you're eating the seeds. You're eating the seeds and the pods of the seeds. The pods of the seeds is where the pomegranate juice is. So, if you didn't know that, that's why pomegranate extract, pomegranate concentrate, that type of stuff. I can understand that for a pomegranate beer. Uh, because you need so much to make a pomegranate beer that you would ship past your brewery. To make a big enough batch that would have any flavor or any color or any anything that you could ship it past your brewery, you would need to use an extract or something like that to do it. Guava, on the other hand... You could have used real guava. I don't know how hard it is to get guava in British Columbia, but if I can find guava in Saskatchewan, you can find guava in British Columbia. And I mean, guava is the one that I'm I'm stuck on. I accept the pomegranate. I don't accept the guava. I don't accept the guava. You know what else I don't accept? That color. I don't accept that color. There's pomegranate in this shit. Just me processing a pomegranate for my kids stains my shirt. Guava. I can accept the guava with that color. I can. It doesn't... But pomegranate is a dark colored juice. But again, you used extract. So I don't know what pomegranate extract actually really looks like. Does it look like, like the palm? The palm juices? Because that's like a deep purple. So if it looks like the palm juices, I don't understand it. If it looks like this, I guess I understand it. This kind of reminds me almost more of a a peach. It looks more like a peach or a nectarine beer. It is hazy crazy. It's hazy crazy. It's like a burnt orange. I... I dated a few girls with hair that color and I really liked it. Um, I love my wife. I find her beautiful. I like that hair color. I don't. I, 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 I don't know why. I, 
who the fuck picks the guy with the white hair, right? Like, what the fuck? Ooh. I can't say for sure that I smell pomegranate or guava. I, I really don't. But it's a nice sour beer. It smells like it's hopped with citra. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? If it, you're making a sour beer, you might as well use citra hops. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> beer. I do not smell anything on the beer. But I smell a nice sour citra hoppiness out of the can. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Okay. So I don't taste anything that would make me think pomegranate. I don't really taste anything that would make me think guava. Both of those things being said, you know what I do taste? Nectorious! <laughs> Nectorious! <laughs> this tastes like Four Winds Nectorious. And as you know, I love Four Winds Nectorious. Basically, this tastes like a sour IPA. A sour citra IPA. It's creamy. Medium bodied. Low carbonation. Sour citrus. Uh, tastes like orange. Orange, pineapple, lemon, and grapefruit. It's fucking fantastic. It actually almost tastes like there's a little bit of apricot in there too. Just a little bit of stone fruit mixing around. The sourness does not stick around. It goes away rather quickly. This tastes amazing. It does. It tastes amazing. Best way to say it. Amazing. Uh, out of 10, that's an 8. That's an 8. Does it taste like what it says to me? No. Do I give a shit? No. Bye, guys.